Oh wow, it's good to be out again. Um, hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Paul. This is It's a Camping Thing. Before we start, I need to say that fact there's gonna be no tents or no camping equipment in this video. This is just gonna be a little bit of an update. However, I am hoping to camp out in the garden again uh, this weekend. It's currently Wednesday, so it's only a few days away. And there'll be regular videos following on from this point onwards. First of all, I took a summer break. This is because I don't deal very well with the heat and this year we've had excessive temperatures uh, up to about 40 degrees and yeah I don't really deal well with that sort of heat. The other thing is is the fact that the garden when the children are off on their summer holidays and that um, it's a little bit difficult to record videos when you've got kids screaming in the gardens and no doubt enjoying their summer holiday but um, yeah, I decided to take a little bit of a break during the summer and then this will happen again next year. It just gives me a little bit of a breather and a chance to look at the channel from a different perspective. And with that fresh perspective over the last six weeks while I've been taking an upload break, I've had a little look at the channel and the first change I've made is purely cosmetic and that's the logo. Just had a little bit of a rejig, rethink about that. And now I'm really happy with the way the logo looks moving forward. The second change that I've made is probably more fundamental and that's the social media that's associated with this channel. Namely, Instagram and Twitter, I've decided now to delete. I've got rid of those. Uh, and that's because I was spending far more too much time on social media side of things rather than the video side of uploading. And I'd rather produce better quality videos than spend a load of time on social media. Now the social media of the Facebook group and the buy me a coffee has still remained there on there. The Facebook page is basically where I post updates about videos moving forward. And if you want to come along and say hi, please feel free to do so. It's all good to have your company. The buy me a coffee site is where you get to help the channel moving forward and you get to contribute if you can. Um, now this channel at the moment is not monetized by YouTube. It's not sponsored by anybody and all the gear, everything, the tents, the camping stuff, everything is purchased out of my own money. So if you can, if you can't, don't worry about it. But if you can and you want to contribute to the channel moving forward and help me out, then please feel free to have a look at that and contribute to the channel. I'm doing a uh, monthly blog at the moment where I get to talk about all things camping related. I've also got my story on there, my camping story on there, um, which is a long, long, long list at my age. And yeah, that's going to be for £3 a month. And that's where I talk about all things camping related. I'll be reviewing things a little bit more in depth, in depth that I can't necessarily do in the videos. So if you can uh, have a look at those, then that's great. Uh, if not, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Again, that helps me out enormously moving forward. We've just moved over 850 subscribers at the moment. And to all of you that have subscribed, I just want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you very much, because that for me is just, well, it blows my mind. And yeah, for someone who was making videos about my own little camping trip holidays and trips out, uh, to get to this stage is just mind blowing. So thank you all to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. And yeah, uh, that's the housekeeping done for this part of the video. Now, whilst I'm here, let me know what you got up to in the summer period. And I, I, I mean camping related, let's keep it clean. I'm talking about, did you go wild camping for the very first time? Did you go to a campsite? What sort of tent did you use? And what sort of camping gear did you use? Did you enjoy it? Let me know in the comments below and let me know your thoughts or alternatively use the Facebook social media page as well. Um, now for me, I didn't exactly sit on my bum the entire time, sure, when it was like 38, 39 degrees and it felt like it was baking and, 
outside. I uh, kind of closed the curtains and stayed inside, but the days when it was a little bit more overcast, sure enough, I ventured out. I went to a, a local place called Spring Lakes in Long Eaton, which is absolutely incredible. And for those of you who don't know or don't remember, um, in May, I did my first ever wild camping, which was set on an island. And the reason why that was is because I have a problem with my ankle. I have Achilles, Achilles tendinopathy, and it means hills like that are about the maximum for me. And it means the fact that I can't really climb up mountains or fells or anything like that. I do have a lot of pain in that ankle. So I thought a little bit outside the box and then got a kayak and then thought, oh, I've got a fear of deep water. <laughs> yeah, that means kayaking out to an island is going to be some deep water. I can swim in a swimming pool, great. I'm fine in that respect, but a lake? <sighs> Yeah, a bit dodgy ground for me. So uh, I went to the Lake District, had this kayak, and then realized the fact that realistically, if I fell overboard, I needed to be able to not panic in the water. So I did a little bit of open water swimming there, and then went out in the kayak, went to my island, did my first ever wild camp, which was incredible. I loved that. That forever me, for more for me will be the most incredible, one of the most incredible birthdays of my entire life. I. Yeah, I think about that fondly every day. Um, but yeah, I did the open water swimming, did the kayaking. And now when I came back, I wanted to capitalize on that a little bit more and keep that up. I didn't want that fear to just kind of disappear into the background and then re-emerge again. So I've been going to this place called Spring Lakes in Long Eaton. And if you're in that area, awesome place. Absolutely awesome. And I've been swimming in the, in the lake and yeah, just got used to it and loving it really. I feel a little bit healthier. I've lost a little bit of weight which is a good thing, because I was like uh, 17 and a half stone, just under 17 now. Not that you need to know my vital statistics or anything. And yeah, uh, it's been a, a pretty good summer. And recently, just recently, I went out and purchased a SUP board stand-up paddle, for those of you who are not familiar with the term, but stand-up paddle. I was in the River Trent, I went to a place called Beeston Marina, and we went on these paddle boards and I didn't stand up, but I did stand up for about 0 0.3 seconds before I fell in. Thank you very much for that. Yeah. The water, again, and again, and again, and again, and possibly again. On the bright side though, River Trent doesn't taste all that bad. Um, but yeah, you live and learn, and I'll certainly be keeping that up and trying that again soon. Um, so that's what I've been up to over the summer. I've got camping trips coming up very near future. Really looking forward to that. Can't wait to get going again. Both wild camping and um, campsite camping. I really am having that time in my life where I feel complete. I feel happy. I, I've got plans for the future. And when I'm thinking about those plans, I'm smiling. I love my camping, I really do. Um, so yeah, I hope you join me for those camping trips. If you've not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel, clicking on the bell icon to be notified of all future video releases. It feels like a long time ago since I last said that. It really does, but yeah, it does help the channel no end moving forward. Like this video, comment, say hello, either on here or on the Facebook page. It's always nice to have your company. So yeah, thank you very much. Take care folks, hope to see you again soon and yeah, 
Season four, I think it is. We did 2018, 29. That's season four. Starts off from this point now. The humidity has really risen. <laughs> I'm wearing long trousers and it feels like the, I feel like I'm just gonna, it's really hot, it's humid. The humidity in this country is terrible. If you've never been to the UK, trust me, I've been to like places abroad, 30 degrees. It's like, yeah, that's, that's warm. But you come to the UK, the humidity is just something else. And it's nice to spit a rain as well now. So I've got to be, this is my last take. <sighs> Hopefully. Also, while I'm here, let me know what you've been up to. Also, while I'm here, what have you been up to in the summer? and keep it clean, please. <laughs> this is a family show after all. What have you been up? Oh. GoPro, stop recording.